Colombia is considered by many as an outdoor playground with 12 major bike destinations. The mountain bike trails of Squamish, the North Shore and Whistler now have a new contender right here in the Fraser Valley. This club was founded because all of our trails were threatened because our sport wasn't known. That was over a decade ago. People didn't know what this thing was. And so founded to protect the trails against all kinds of threats. Today, we're actually asked to build more trails. Municipalities, regional districts are hiring us to build new trails, so that's exciting. But we're also learning that the consequences of building without permission, we have a lot of that in our history and we're working towards a future where we ask first and find out the answer before taking action. How long is this trail that we're going to be maintaining today? It's about a mile. Well, a mile and a half, maybe. And how long have you been riding for yourself? Oh, 25 years or so. I work on the trails uh, two or three days a week. I enjoy riding the trails, and they're a lot more fun to ride when they're in good shape. So I like to do my part to help out with that. The lower mainland is often considered as rain couver, and you can tell why it's coming down a bit now. But these volunteers head out, rain or shine. Up here, we uh, signed an agreement with the Ministry of Forestry, and uh, we we actually uh, carry liability insurance. Every member, almost ten dollars of that membership goes to insurance policy. Whether you're a member or not, the trails are insured. Not really made. That stopped the liability question. That's huge. What I'm trying to do, I see here. So a lot of people are coming off this and rolling and bashing their bottom bracket or their chain sprocket on this rock. So we're trying to raise this dip up a bit. More experienced riders will likely be just airing off of this. But there'll be riders that just, you know, don't want to take the air gap, don't want to take that risk, and will want to just keep their wheels on the ground. Gently navigate down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so... One of the main reasons we're out here doing this is um, like if the trail gets really overgrown, it's pretty unsafe for mountain bikers. And uh, that's one of the main reasons that we're out here is uh, making sure the trails are usable for people coming out. Wouldn't be, uh, you know, it's not very good if you're coming out here and it's uh, trails not maintained well and then you get into trouble. So it's always good to keep it safe. I started riding on my own and then friends and my kids have all kind of followed me a little bit and, and they all ride as a result. So yeah, no, it's, uh, it's free, it's cheap, it's easy. It's, uh, you just gotta commit to it once a week at least, right? What are your you know? thoughts on this volunteer group going out? Oh, it's good, right? Because you know, somebody's busting their backside to, so that you can go have a good time and, and you don't know who they are, you don't know who to thank, but somebody's doing it, right? It doesn't just show up on its own. Somebody's gotta come out there. So I built a few trails here and there too, so. You know, you try to put a little bit back. You get out of what you uh, put into it. Yeah, for sure. I'm a trail runner, so I uh, I also use these trails, but I don't ride any bikes. So if we see a mountain biker, the protocol is just to move aside. They get right of way. Always. They should, anyway. No close calls? No. Oh, good. <laughs> Not yet. So as long as you're respectful and safe. Yeah, exactly. How often are you coming up here? Once a week. As much as you can, yeah. basically. Oh, yeah. And, and how that's long? just this spot, right? And then three miles that way once a week. Five miles that way in Mission Maple Ridge once a week. Try to get them all. Tips for people that are starting out trying to get into this sport. What would you say? Find a local. Yeah. Find a bike shop. They can direct you to the right trail because you're just going to get hurt learning on this, right? Safety first. Yeah, oh, totally. My hopes, especially in this region, is that like it's a cradle of uh, our sport and in this area. So we can build on what we have. You can see us servicing and maintaining what's here, but expanding it because we have a capacity limit right now. We have not enough trails to service the thousands. It's thousands of people that are members of our club and over, we're estimating 5,000 riders in the region that use these trails and that's just mountain bike riders. So we have, more, we need more capacity to service the people that want to recreate in these spaces. The things I've learned here is that the group is very environmentally conscious. They work with local governments and organizations uh, to maintain that sustainability here with the land and the trails. But in essence, it's all about providing riders with a positive experience. Dean Atwell, Fraser Focus.